Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to take care of a practice problem in Chapter 1.4 as part of beginning proofs. Now, this particular problem is not going to be a proof itself, but more of a review of some of the algebra that you've learned in the past and some of the vocabulary and terms that we've learned about angles and uh, what you can and can't assume from diagrams. So in the question number 14, we're asked, uh, you know, we're told that the measure of an obtuse angle is 5y plus 45. We're trying to figure out what the restrictions are on y. Well, we know that an obtuse angle is going to be greater than 90 and less than 180 degrees. So I can rewrite my, or I can write an equality as 90 is 90 degrees is less than the obtuse angle in question is less than 180 degrees. Well, I know that the equation for the obtuse angle in question is 5y plus 45. So I can rewrite the inequality as 90 is less than 5y plus 45, which is less than 180 degrees. Now I can solve that inequality. <clears throat> so if I subtract 45 from both sides, I end up with, excuse me, uh, 45 is less than 5y. And I also end up with uh, 5y is going to be less than 135 degrees. So on the left hand side of the equation, I have 90 minus 5y plus 45. <clears throat> 90, or excuse me, 90 is less than 5y plus 45. I subtract 45 from both sides. I'm left with 45 is less than 5y. And I know that y is greater than 9. On the right-hand side of the inequality, I have 5y plus 45 is less than 180 degrees. So 5y plus 45 is less than 180 degrees. 5y is less than 135 as I subtract 45 from both sides. And I end up with y is less than 27. So the result is that y, the value of y, and the restrictions on y are that it has to be between 9 and 27, but not inclusive of 9 and 27. In the next question, or problem, number 15, we're given that angle 1 is equal to x plus 7, angle 2 is equal to 2x minus 3, angle ABC is equal to x squared, and angle D is equal to 5x minus 4. We're asked to show that angle D is equal to angle ABC. So we're going to go ahead and set up, we know that angle 1 and angle 2 are equal to angle ABC. So I can rewrite this as x squared is equal to, or ABC is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. So let's do that on another, on another page. So angle ABC is equal to 1 angle 1 plus angle 2, or x squared is equal to x plus 7, which is angle 1, plus 2x minus 3, which is angle 2. As I simplify this, I have x squared is equal to 3x plus 4. Then I use my zero product property, which we learned in algebra last year. I subtract 3x and 4 from the right-hand side of the equation to set the equation equal to 0. Then I factor the quadratic into x minus 4 and x plus 1. And I end up with x is equal to 4 and negative 1. Now, I know that the angles have to be positive, And I take a look at the values for x to see if they both work in the two angles, or the three angles that I'm given. Well, x can be negative 1 for angle 1, but it can't be uh, negative 1 for angle 2. Because if I plug in negative 1 for 2x minus 3, I end up with a negative value for my angle. So negative 1 cannot be a solution for x. Negative, or excuse me, positive 4 can be a solution, and that's the only other solution we have left. So now we're asked to prove that angle ABC is equal to angle D. I know that angle ABC is equal to x squared, as was given to us. I know that angle D is equal to 5x minus 4. So I plug in 4 for both values of x, and I come up with 4 squared, which is equal to 16, is equal to 5 times x, or 4 minus 4, which is also equal to 16. So I can see, then, that angle ABC, in fact, does equal angle D, and that both of the measures are 16 degrees.